So, you downloaded the replay mod hoping to record better videos, but you never used it because of FFmpeg and how annoying it is to download, or you were intimidated by the replay mod's complex features. Well, I got just a video for you. If you are here from BTE, you probably know that the replay mod is an optional mod that can be downloaded from the mod pack. If you didn't tick the box before when downloading it, you can just re-download the mod pack without uninstalling the old one. Now, if you're not here from BTE, I have the download link in the description for the replay mod. Alright, now for FFmpeg. I also have the download link in the description. You can download the essential version as you don't need anything more complicated. The essential version is fine. I'm not going to spend the whole time talking about FFmpeg builds, and that's why I struggle to download it because of all the tutorials that were very confusing and they talked too much about the builds when everyone downloading it really just wanted it for replay mod. All I'm going to say is that you need FFmpeg if you want to export your replays to your computer. Once you've downloaded FFmpeg, you want to move it to the program files 86 folder in your C drive. Alright, now for replay mod. Make sure you have replay mod in your .minecraft folder, which is in percent up data percent. If you're here from BTE, it should be in the .build the earth folder, not .minecraft or else you won't be able to use the mod for BTE. Once loading the game, you have a few options, one of them being record a single player, which will automatically start recording as soon as you load into a single player world. All right, now let's do some building. Once you are done, go, go to the title screen and you will notice a new icon with a loop on it. This is where your replay recordings are stored. Open the one you want to use. Once you're in, find the area you are building and add a time keyframe which will start the timeline. Adding position keyframes will move the camera to the point you selected, the keyframe at. The time it takes to move from keyframes depends on how far they are spaced. Once you are done adding keyframes, make sure you add another time keyframe to end your timeline. You can now view your results. You can remove chat messages and commands and add some shaders to enhance the quality of your time lapse. Now once you are ready to export, set the bitrate to 35 mbps as that is the max for youtube now go back to the location of ffmpeg and program files 86 and make sure the name is ffmpeg you can remove anything else in the file name then click bin then right click ffmpeg.exe and go to properties copy the name of the file location and paste it in the box here make sure that you have ffmpeg.exe at the end and then put the backslash uh beside bin before you add that ffmpeg.exe thing there and now you can click render and you're done just wait for your replay to finish the export